Welcome to That's My Biz, the internet business showcase where we bring exposure to products, services, and special causes of local businesses and organizations. Thank you so much for joining us. We are coming to you live from the BizLinks TV studio. Brought to you by Southeast Computers, repairs, upgrades, custom builds, and restorations. SoutheastComputersATL.com. Hi, everyone, and welcome to another episode of That's My Biz. I'm Pamela Alexander, and we, as always, enjoy uh, inviting you and bringing to you the several businesses, the nonprofits, and associations that we meet when we're out there networking. We always have great guests, and we have a wonderful guest with us uh, today you. as well, Ms. Michelle Bolden. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. And she is with Home Helpers, and we want to remind you that as you watch this episode, be sure to come back again. You can check out the archives at www.bizlinks.com. TV. You can also check us out on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash bizlinks TV and our Facebook page, facebook.com, guess what, slash bizlinks TV. So I'm going to dive right in because Michelle is just really, I'm really excited to have her Thank on you. today. Thank Absolutely. You. I'm excited to be here. I appreciate this opportunity to share our business and this is just a great opportunity for small businesses and just communities to kind of know what Great. services out there for them. Great. So I really appreciate being here. Thank you so much. And I'm excited because this is a different service. So we haven't had um, a guest like Home Helpers on. So I'm really excited to share this with uh, the businesses that are out there and the individuals because as businesses, we're all individuals. We all have family members as well. Right. And at some point, we all need some type of service right. that, that you have to provide. Mm -hmm. Now, Michelle has a vast background in this arena. Mm -hmm. She uh, is an RN. She has an MBA. Um, worked in a lot of different healthcare right. positions, and um, her experience has brought her to this point to become the CEO and the owner of a Home Helpers and Direct Link of Atlanta. And I'm really excited so that you all can know um, what your family members can take advantage of. It's in home, non medical care for families and individuals, and they provide services like homemaker services, companion care, personal care, respite care, and medical alert systems. So Michelle, the first thing I want to start with is just how you came to start Home Helpers Territories. Okay. okay. So, um, actually, I've been working in healthcare for a very long time, anywhere from the bedside as a nurse to sitting in the boardroom as a director of a department within a couple of acute care facilities in the hospitals. So, as I continued to grow in my roles, my desire to want to have my own business grew as well. So, finally, I decided to take that thought, that leap of faith. Mm -hmm and dive right in and then I began searching for a business that would be great for me um, and one thing that really pushed me toward that was I was helping to take care of my dad mm -hmm. he became ill and required 24-7 care um, my sisters and myself and even a cousin in Michigan came and we helped to take care of him for about 10 months mm -hmm. um, and for those two months I was there during the summer taking care of him along with my son um, I decided I left my job to come t to help take care of mm -hmm. him I decided I, I don't want to go back to do the same thing there's mm -hmm. something there more for me mm -hmm. and I need to take this this walk of yeah. faith and begin it so I decided then I began looking for opportunities I was willing to go outside of health care but mm -hmm. This opportunity kept coming back to me because of the growth of the baby boomers. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're talking like 7 million people, which is a quarter of the U.S. population, are growing into that age where they need some assistance. So I said, you know, I don't even have to leave my field. I can just grow in a different way. So I looked for different franchises because I felt a franchise was good for me in the way that I wanted to grow. Mm -hmm. um, and Home Helpers was right for me and my family. And I found the territories in Atlanta, brought an existing territory, so there are two territories I have right in the city of Atlanta and some of the surrounding communities. Okay. And um, they had a great foundation of seven years of being in the community, um, so I brought it and just began yeah. to continue to build it. So it's been an exciting journey right, so far, and right. I'm really excited that yeah. I took that jump. Yeah, and this is what we love, because on That's My Biz, we want to highlight the businesses, but also just what's behind them and the passion right. behind mm -hmm. them. And it's always a learning opportunity for those out there too because there's someone else out there right. that's in a similar position right. that um, really wants something more they kind of have a, right. a bit of that entrepreneur mm -hmm. bug has been mm -hmm. been nipping at their mm -hmm. heels mm -hmm. and just looking at you know where you are in life what skills you have right. what it is you do right. and looking at the experiences mm -hmm. and what you have a passion mm -hmm. for and how often businesses start out just through an experience that happened to right. them you that's know right. started out with your dad and then looking at the how can I take this further and how can you know we fulfill a need 
need. Right. Because that's what all businesses are about, that's is fulfilling right. the need. Right. And then I like the idea that you had of looking at a franchise. Mm -hmm. um, because there's opportunities out there. You don't have to kind of start your own thing that's from right. scratch. Mm -hmm. scratch. There's a lot of benefits right. um, to a franchise. Mm -hmm. And then you found an established right. uh, territory mm -hmm. that you could kind of take over. That's so right. that really kind of helped you that's along as well and, right. and really hit the ground running. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now with that, do they provide you training? They do. They provide training for you at their mm -hmm. main office in Ohio. Mm -hmm. um, so you go there and you spend about a le at least a week of just okay. deep training. It's spilled five days of training. Mm -hmm. It's intense, but um, it's just great information. Okay. Um, they give you information to take back. Um, lots of website information that we use in order to um, move forward and just kind of pull information when we need mm -hmm. it as we mm -hmm. grow in our business. Mm -hmm. um, you have a consultant that works with you through the first year and then onward. Mm -hmm. um, so they do pr provide a lot of support and I felt as I was going in this by myself with of course with the support of my family mm -hmm. um, I really needed that extra push because I was still wondering should I leave this every two week paycheck right, to right. a paycheck <laughs> that I don't know what's going right. to happen yeah. um, so once I took that walk it, it's been a good adventure and I think yeah. the franchise was a great um, step for me yeah yeah mm -hmm. that's great so anybody out there that's looking uh, to start a business definitely even you know consider franchises now I want to get into home helpers so the services that you provide because it's no longer it's kind of gone are the day of the days of nursing homes even though they're kind of out there but you know you've got nursing homes you've got uh, assisted living facilities and then you have people that they want to stay in their own That's home right. so tell me a little bit about the types of clients you serve and I know it's not even just for older people right? right sometimes people just need mm -hmm. in-home medical care mm -hmm. for a period of time right. so tell us about the types of clients that you service sure. so we do serve uh, serve a larger population mm -hmm. of seniors um, because at this point, again, we have that multitude mm -hmm. of baby boomers right. that are transitioning, but they really want to stay in their home. And then they have adult children mm -hmm. who have their own lives, right. their families, their careers, and they really don't have the time to be able to give to their parents like they would want to, right. or even they're out of state. So we're able to support their families by going into the home and providing anywhere from the simple things you talked about of just dusting, mm -hmm. mopping, cleaning the kitchen, mm -hmm. um, or companion care, mm -hmm. you know, taking them to appointments, making sure they're stimulated socially, okay. playing dominoes with them, taking them to a friend's house, yeah. um, or the t touch care, which we call this personal care. So anywhere from grooming, feeding, okay. bathing, um, if they're bedridden, we're there mm -hmm. to position them and take 24 hour seven yeah. care if needed of that person. Mm -hmm. um, so we're able to provide that to, to that particular age group of seniors. But then we also have those are recuperating from a procedure. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you have an adult who's maybe a working adult, two household working uh, spouses, mm -hmm. who and one has an illness in which they're getting treated for. They have to have a procedure, and their recovery period may be a week. It could be six weeks. Okay. It could be eight weeks. And they just need someone there in order to take care of them because now... Um, you're seeing people discharged from the hospital much sicker. Mm -hmm. They're not coming home right. and ready to go out and, right. and walk around. You know, they're pretty sick, and mm -hmm. sometimes they really need people there to help monitor them, to help with their medication. Okay. Um, so, and a lot of times we don't have we don't have the time to do that. Mm -hmm. um, we desire to do it, but we mm -hmm. may not have the hours of vacation time mm -hmm. in order to stay right. and take care of that spouse. So again, they call us and we okay. come in and we provide. It could be eight hours a day. Mm -hmm. It could be twenty four seven. Whatever they need until they're able to get back on their feet or okay. the spouse is able to take off of work maybe a little bit longer. Okay. Um, so then and then we offer also for new moms, sometimes moms are on mm -hmm. bed rest or they're just adjusting to the new baby. So okay. we focus on the mom and not the baby. Okay. Um, so we would be able to provide the support for the mom, okay. housekeeping, things of that sort, especially if he's had a C-section or something mm -hmm. after a procedure. Um, and then also we have a GI group who reached out to us who has transportation needs. So they have a patient who has a colonoscopy. Okay. In order to have that type of procedure, you have to have someone designated to drive you home okay. because of the medications they administer during the procedure. Okay. So we have a group who reaches out to us. We pick up the client, we get them to the procedure, we stay with them during the procedure, we take them back home, we make sure they're settled and comfortable, and then we leave. And that's a service that we provide as well. So oh, it's really so custom. Well, oh, services, yes. 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 So it's really custom based upon the client's yeah. needs. And that's why we want to go in the house, mm -hmm. identify what their needs 
needs are and it be able to meet those needs, okay. whether it's a couple of hours mm -hmm. to 24-7. Mm -hmm. And often you'll see some providers or some agencies have a minimum limit. We mm -hmm. do not. Um, the price is slightly higher for mm -hmm. hours under four, but we provide services from a couple to 24-7 care. Okay, and you, you cover that because when you said the 24-7, you know, I'm thinking you're just going in there a couple of hours, you know, kind right. of tending to them or right. spending some time. But so then, so people can do as, as little as an hour, but uh, but 24-7, so right. they're actually living. That's right. No, well, they're not living. They're not living. Okay. So because a live-in generally means that you can come in okay. and you'll work while they're up and then you'll sleep at night. Okay. So based upon state requirements, et cetera, they would have to have time okay. to sleep at night. But 24-7 means I really need someone there all, mm -hmm. you know, because we have clients. We have okay. one client who's 24-7 mm -hmm. and at night he has to get up, we take him, you know, he has to okay. go to the bathroom, he has to, we have to do all those things for him for 24-7, okay. just like you're in a hospital, okay. but you're in a comfort of your own okay. home. So now do they have more than one person then yes. that services yes. with them? Yes, okay. we have. We have a couple of people and we make sure we have a consistent okay. um, staff members there. Mm -hmm. So okay. that way the client is used to the caregiver and the caregiver mm -hmm. is used to the clients and they can understand each other's needs. Okay. So we develop a team for mm -hmm. them and then the team is consistently okay. there with the client. Okay. Um, and you know when we talk about respite care, mm -hmm. people hear that term, but really what that is is in order to provide a relief to the caregiver. Mm -hmm. So people may not need 24-7 mm -hmm. care, but they may need a short term of 24 hours. Okay. So I'm a caregiver. I care for my grandmother. I'm there all the time. Mm -hmm. I just need a break mm -hmm. to go mm -hmm. on a vacation with friends right. for four or five days. Right. Then we would come in and we would provide 24-7 okay. care for that caregiver so they can have a break. Mm -hmm. They can get refreshed and be the better person mm -hmm. for the person they're caring for okay. as well. Wow. So now tell me about the uh, who are the, the caregivers, the people that actually go in, mm -hmm. like what kind of certifications do they have? Um, because they have to administer medicine at times as well. So what what types of certifications do the, the uh, helpers have to have? Okay, so we use CNAs, and those okay. are certified nursing assistants. Okay. And um, we are non-medical, so we do not administer medications. Okay. But we can remind them of their medication. Okay. 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 So based upon our license, we will be able to remind them that it's time for you to take your medication. Mm -hmm. um, we can hand them a bottle so they can mm -hmm. open the medication. So mm -hmm. we do provide that. And that's one of our um, perks is that we do medication reminders. I mean, okay. we may even have a service where we do what's called a wake up and a tuck and a tuck in. Mm -hmm. So we may go to a nursing facility mm -hmm. for several different clients, wake them up, don't forget to take your medication. Okay. Um, and this could be in a nursing facility. Okay. It could be be in an assistant living mm -hmm. living facility so we go wherever the patient or the client mm -hmm. calls home okay. okay okay so it could be any one of those places and we for a wake-up service we may go in and say you know want to make sure that you're up mm -hmm. did you get your breakfast going or may I assist mm -hmm. with your breakfast mm -hmm. Um, and then tuck up, tuck okay. in, just to make sure that when I come back, your doors mm -hmm. are locked, you mm -hmm. took your medication okay. for the night, do you need an assistant okay. with dressing for the night, mm -hmm. um, those type of things. Okay. So there's a variety of services mm -hmm. that we can provide, okay. again, based upon the client's need. We okay. want to customize it for them and their family, okay. because our clients are families as well. Mm -hmm. So we just don't see the client, right. we often have to serve the family right. also. Okay. Now. I hear all this and I, and I love it because I know there's a huge need for this and like you mentioned because we have the baby boomers mm -hmm. now who are getting older but um, a lot of them are, are doing very well and mm -hmm. are staying very at home active. now mm -hmm. yeah and even if they could go somewhere they want to stay at home right. but now the other thing that we hear when we're talking about health care and, and aging um, you know the issues with the cost you know if depending on how they finish with their retirement things like this so is this type of service an expensive service mm -hmm. Well, it's not really expensive, mm -hmm. and I, of course to us we don't think so, but again, we're able to customize those hours so maybe we can try to meet your budget. Okay. 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 So we often take self-pay, so they're okay. paying out of the pocket themselves. Mm -hmm. um, but then there are also other opportunities for payment. Okay. Um, sometimes medic Medicaid may be an option. Okay. Um, we are a Medicaid provider under the CCSP program, which okay. is the Community Care Service Program. Okay. So we can provide that through Medicaid. Okay. Um, and then there's also programs for our veterans mm -hmm. and their spouses that mm -hmm. may be able to be applicable to those clients who okay. apply. 
or meet the qualifications mm -hmm. for veteran benefits. Okay. Um, and then sometimes commercial insurance also will um, provide care. There okay. are benefits um, there. For example, um, one of the carriers may have a benefit in which they have 100 days mm -hmm. of four hours of care mm -hmm. uh, for a home health aid. Okay. So that falls into that category. Okay. So they may cover 100%, they may cover 80%, they may cover 60%. Okay. It's just based upon that plan. So often we don't see that a lot, but we do see mm -hmm. it. And then there's work of Comp compensation cases as well mm -hmm. that we're provider okay. for also workers comp um, provider as well okay. vendor and we help with their services also home helpers gives your family peace of mind by assisting loved ones who are recuperating in the comfort of home for one free hour of in-home care call 404-624-4663 and use coupon code healthy biz home helpers making life easier so I know you have two territories. Mm -hmm. So now tell everyone kind of what's the area that you provide okay. so that for those that are listening or know of people that may sure. need your services, sure. where what area you cover? Okay. So we cover pretty much the city of Atlanta um, and its surrounding communities. So downtown, Midtown, Buckhead, Virginia Highlands, um, Vinings, Decatur, um, Brookhaven. Um, we have clients in Cascade. Um, and so we cover pretty much all of those areas. And so we just ask that you reach out to us and then we can let you know whether we cover it. And if we don't, we have other um, franchises in Georgia, probably another four or so that can also assist in services. So if we don't cover, we can refer you to the correct place that does. Okay. That. Mm -hmm. so, so everyone out there, if you know someone that's in those areas, please definitely yes. uh, make sure that you let them know about this great service that's yes. available. Okay. You know, I love it because you don't have to, you know, worry about that family member right. that, that's at home by themselves. And because you're so busy, everyone's busy mm -hmm. working and all of that, that mm -hmm. they can get that extra mm -hmm. care. Um, now, let me also ask you, because we didn't talk about this, Direct Link. Right. Tell me a little bit about that. So that was a great segue, as you just okay. mentioned, about the 24-7 okay. or just need a little care. So for those who don't aren't able to have 24-7 care mm -hmm. or may not need 24-7 care, the direct link monitoring system gives them that extra. So say okay. we're there for four hours a day, okay. four days a week. Mm -hmm. um, but they are pretty much a high fall risk. Okay. So we have a direct link service that's an emergency alert system okay. that they can wear. So they can either use the necklace mm -hmm. or bracelet. Okay. okay. And then there's different levels of, of okay. the monitoring. So one is just a standard. Mm -hmm. You push the button, the person comes on the call box from okay. a call center. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Do I need to call 911? Mm -hmm. Or would you like for me to call your daughter or your okay. neighbor? And then based upon your setup, we determine who you would like for us to call. Okay. Okay. And then the next level is a system in which it's a fall sensor. Mm -hmm. So if it senses the person falling, mm -hmm. it will automatically alert the system. Wow. So they'll come on and they'll ask, are you okay? And if they don't get a response, they're yeah. going to call, they're going to dial 911. Um, and then thirdly, we have what's a GPS. Mm -hmm. So for those, we have some seniors mm -hmm. or some people that aren't, that aren't seniors mm -hmm. that tend to wonder, not yes. wonder where they're going, mm -hmm. they're lost, and you have mm -hmm. no way to get in touch with them. Yeah. Well, there's a GPS that they wear, and you can we can locate them anywhere. Wow. Yes. That is wonderful because yes. I've heard stories yes. where they had the family member that yes. just wandered out of even the facility that That's they right. were in, That's and right. it took the longest for them mm -hmm. to, to locate them. Yeah. You don't want anything happening to them when they're out there. That's but right. I love that the sensor, the mm -hmm. senses when they fall. Yes. Now, does this require any type of installation in the home, or how does um, it work? It's very basic. It probably okay. takes five minutes, okay. even me, to set it up. Okay. Five, ten minutes. <laughs> so it, it's very basic setup, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I love that. So now that's um, part of that has its own pricing with it or it kind right. of comes as a package um, deal? It's, or? it's normally um, a separate pricing, okay. um, but you know, as the hours increase or the mm -hmm. needs increase, we certainly talk about that with clients to see okay. how we can best meet their needs. Okay, and is that they something are. as well that potentially their um, insurance or maybe the, the Medicare may, may take care of? Depending well, there are or... some programs in which Medicaid may cover it. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. But okay. Um, normally it's just out of pocket. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. So now tell me, how do people get in touch? Because I know that's what y'all want to know. Y'all like, what do you you're going to ask her that. <laughs> How do they get in touch with you? Absolutely. So they can contact at our main office, which is in Midtown. Um, our phone number is 404-624-4663. And then you can also locate us on the website. It's homehelpershomecare.com forward slash north dash Atlanta and that will take you right to our franchise um, in the Atlanta area. Okay, I love that. Give them the website one more time. Sure, it's www.homehelpers with an S homecare.com 
forward slash north I'm sorry, in dash Atlanta. Okay, and then we'll definitely make sure that uh, you all have that yes. and, and have the information available to you. Um, before we go, I did want to ask you, um, with all of this, for who is it typically that reaches out to you that provides a service? Is it normally the individual? Is it the, the family uh, member themselves? Or who's the one that actually obtains the services, I guess? Most often, it is the family member. Okay. So it's the person who's caregiving. Often we see adult children who are reaching okay. out for their parents. Um, that's most often who okay. we see. Um, we see a spouse reaching out for their for their mm -hmm. um, husband okay. or wife, mm -hmm. um, seeking services. Um, sometimes we get calls from other agencies who are looking for, we have a family who has okay. a need, can you help them with this mm -hmm. as well? Okay. Is there a scenario where there has to be a physician ordered for this to occur, or do no, they need it? Not for this service, okay. because since we're not medical, mm -hmm. we don't require a physician's order. Okay. So they just reach out to us, we identify what the need is, we go in, we do the free home consultation. Mm -hmm. and then we go and identify how many hours they would need of care okay. and in that process we have a RN supervisor mm -hmm. who does the initial assessment so mm -hmm. she goes out she identifies she does a physical assessment mm -hmm. she does a history talks to the client looks at their environment to identify what are the tasks that the CNA mm -hmm. needs to perform while, while mm -hmm. she's here so okay. um, she identifies it's safer for them to take a shower should they take a bath okay. um, what type of diet should they have so when the CNA is there then she knows I need to fix a low soda when I'm doing meal preparations. Mm -hmm. Um, and then the nurse comes back every two to three months mm -hmm. to see how it's going with the client to do another assessment and then also to assess other changes we need mm -hmm. to do in your plan. And then we also kind of see what the, how the CNA is doing. She does okay. an assessment of them as well. Okay, fantastic. Mm -hmm. So now I also want to make sure before we leave, because um, we've talked about for those that may need this service or those that, um, you know, for themselves or for family members, but I also want to talk about uh, your staff mm -hmm. and for those out there that may be looking for an opportunity sure. to be able to provide these types of services, mm -hmm. um, what are the requirements that you have or kind of what's the process for someone that would want to work with your company? Sure. So we are absolutely looking for CNAs. Mm -hmm. um, we're looking for quality CNAs. who um, We have hours available that we're looking to fill. Um, so we have a series of steps of interviews that okay. we perform. Um, we include pre-screening um, background checks okay. and also drug screens. We also do annual mm -hmm. um, drug screens and annual background check checks as well okay. because we are licensed by the state the Department of Community Health. Okay. Um, we are insured and bonded as well. So we make sure that our caregivers okay. are covered and then also our clients are covered as okay. well. Um, and then we don't only try to meet the state requirements, mm -hmm. but we also exceed them with coverage as mm -hmm. well. Um, and then so for the caregiver, they go through an interview process. We do some orientation, orientation mm -hmm. and training with them as well. Um, and then we take them on. We bring them okay. on to the clients. Um, we match their yeah. characteristics with the client's characteristics characteristics. Mm -hmm. So we ask in the beginning, what things do you like? Mm -hmm. Do you like dogs? Do you mm -hmm. like cats? Are you allergic to smoking? So that it's a good right. match for the client yeah. as yeah. well. Um, and then we put all of that in our, in our database and as we get new clients, we match the two together. Wow. Mm -hmm. well, I love that. So for those that are out there that are looking for this yes. opportunity, there's a lot of people out there that are just, just caring and just have, you know, it's, a, it's an yes. innate um, ability that they have for doing this. Yes. So for, so if you fit those requirements, definitely make sure um, that you reach out to Ms. Bolton as well so that uh, you can get out there and, and provide these services Absolutely. that are such needed services. Um, you know, and again, this is that's my biz. So I want to close on that business side for those that are watching the shows and learning more about uh, growing their own business as well. What's next and what's down the road for Home Helpers and for you? Okay. Well, we're looking at, of course, always expanding mm -hmm. our pool of CNAs. Mm -hmm. So, again, the CNA need is there. Okay. Um, and then also over this next year, we're planning to kind of grow into the community. Mm -hmm. We want to identify resources for our client base. Okay. So we want to begin to partnership with other businesses, um, maybe another nursing facility, okay. other organizations. So when our care caregivers or our clients call in mm -hmm. and we don't have that resource for them, we want to be able to yeah. provide, the, yeah. provide them to the next place they need to go. Mm -hmm. So we're really working on partnerships over the next year to see how we can help our clients okay. completely. If we can't do it, then who can provide that service? Well, I, I love that because it, it definitely is always all about community yes. and what you're doing and just really having and building a strong community. That's so we right. appreciate you for that and for looking to grow that yes. um, and partner with some other organizations as well. So you all heard that too. So for <laughs>
those that uh, have some ideas, definitely reach out. Absolutely. And Michelle, we appreciate you coming on today. Well, thank you so much for having Absolutely. me. I really enjoyed it. Thank Absolutely. you. A wealth of information. And one mm -hmm. more time before we close, tell them all the how they can get in touch with you. Okay, sure. You can call us at 404-624-4663. Or you can contact us via our, um, our webpage, which is homehelpers, with an S, homecare.com, forward slash, n dot dash Atlanta. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you. Absolutely. Everyone, this has been another fantastic episode of That's My Biz. We appreciate you joining us. Again, please go back, play this episode again. Please share it with your family and friends um, and all your contacts and colleagues as well. You can watch the episodes again at www.bizlinks.tv. Check us out on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash bizlinks TV. And don't forget our Facebook page as well at facebook.com forward slash bizlinks TV. Thank you so much for joining us. Remember, we're all exposing your business to the world 10 years to learn the business 10 years to make a name one year on your own it takes time to build a small business but only 60 days to transform it with email marketing from constant contact sign up with constant contact and get 60 days of free email marketing to generate referrals connect with clients and build the business you've always wanted constant contact Start your 60-day free trial today. Thank you for joining us. Today's show can be viewed on demand on our website at www.bizlinks.tv. If you are interested in having your products, services, or special cause showcased on our program, submit an inquiry to That's My Biz at bizlinks.tv. In addition, information on advertising and hosting your own show can be found on our website at bizlinks.tv.